Your whiskey for the cage will be back with another video, no cap. And bro, for those of you guys that do not know, I just got back from Miami a few days ago, maybe like a week ago at this point. I don't know. Some people th still think about Miami. Some people think I never left. I don't know, bro. Whatever you guys think, this is you know what I'm saying. I'm back. I'm back. That's all I can fucking say. But I kind of want to make a video with really my experience in Miami because, bro. That shit was fucking life changing. That shit was motivational as fuck. We was literally partying with fucking millionaires, bro. Millionaires on a yacht. And we got to talk to these fucking millionaires. Like we was cool with them. Like we were friends. They treated us like me and Snag. Like we was their little brother, their son. Some some cool shit. Not like on no son and nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? But on some like like, I'm going to take you under my wing type shit and, and help you get to the next level. These, bro, these millionaires are actual fucking people. And I know it's fucking common sense that they are, right? But you, you, you won't really understand that they are just like you and I until you're in the same room, to listen to the same music on the same yacht, talking to the same bitches. As these niggas, bro. That shit is fucking life-changing, bro. We talked to niggas like Luke Belmore, Nate Belmore. Uh, DDG was there, too. We didn't really get to talk, talk to DDG. But uh, Baby Rich was there. Jay Waller, Sneeko. Myron from Fresh and Fit. Fresh. Bandman, Kevo. All these millionaires were there. And each and every single one of them treated us like we were humans. Now, I know a lot of people, this is going to go over a lot of people's heads because they don't really understand. They're like, bro, these niggas have hundreds of millions of dollars and they have zero ego at all. They are just like us. And we asked them, we asked some of them questions. We talked to them. We had conversations with them. And it was on some genuine, real love type shit, bro. These niggas is really like. It's been a few days since we got back, and it's still fucking crazy to just to, to just to think about the fact that I was talking to these niggas, and they have money that most families, entire bloodlines, would never even see. That shit is fucking wild, bro. That's just a different type of motivation. You guys know I don't rely on motivation now; I rely on straight discipline. But like. It got me really knowing that, like, I got to be on my shit, bro. Because it is possible to make it to the next level. Like, I'm, like, when I think back on it, I don't know what to fucking say. I used to, like, when I thought of niggas that have money, I used to look up to rappers, YouTubers, even trappers and scammers and shit, bro. They don't got no money compared to these niggas, bro. These niggas can blow a couple million and not feel it, bro. That shit is unreal, bro. Like, hey, bro, shout out Fresh and Fit for letting us on that yacht and shit, giving us that experience. Bro, they is some real life people. They don't cap either, bro. I watched every single person that was on that boat's content, content and everything they said, they lived right in front of my eyes. People said that Myron and Fresh get no bitches. Fresh walked in with probably the finest woman I have ever seen in my life. Myron had about three of his girlfriends with him. All uh, uh, sevens and ups, bro. Jay Waller. Bro. Jay Waller, bro. That nigga, out of everybody on the yacht, I felt his energy the most. I went, I walked up to him. After Snag was, I was talking to some females or whatever, and then Snag was talking to him, and when Snag was done, I walked up to him, and I ain't never froze up like that before, like, I was like, bro, I didn't know what to fucking say to this man, bro, and then he had looked at me in the eyes, and he basically told me, like, yo, you can't, nah, bro, that's not how it works, we're the same, bro, we bleed the same, you know what I'm saying, put on our pants the same way. Shit, if I get shot, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to bleed the same way he going to bleed. Like, and this nigga really like, bro, I ain't going to lie. 
after that moment talking to Jay Waller, I ain't gonna lie, he might have to be, he might have had the most impact on my life in my fucking entire 19 years of living, bro. He didn't say much to me. It was a brief conversation, but what he did said, what he did say, I mean, um, his words are fucking powerful, bro. Sneeko as well. Sneeko was joking around with us. Awesome, like, we, we, we cool and shit, bro. Baby Rich, bro, DDG artist, for those of you guys don't, that don't know, he's fucking going crazy right now. Just, you know what I'm saying, had a song hit a million a day, you know what I'm saying? So he's going crazy right now. That nigga was talking to me like I was one of him, bro. And the thing is, like, the thing about that party, me and Snag, we was probably the 100% the, the, the youngest there and the least financially uh, stable there, least life experience there. And they didn't treat us any different than everybody else, bro. Like, that nigga was, J, uh, Baby Rich was asking me, like, you know what I'm saying? Questions and shit on some real nigga shit. Awesome, we having a conversation, bro. Like, what the fuck? Myron, bro. Myron is a fucking real ass, genuine nigga too. Fresh, all them niggas, bro. Every single nigga there, I probably, I'm probably missing a few, but, you know what I'm saying? They already know who was there. All you niggas, bro. Bro, we gonna be at the top, bro. Foreign Pill is gonna be at the top with them niggas, bro. I swear to God, bro. Bro, you niggas, you niggas need to get out and experience life, make connections. Even Chris, bro, from uh, the producer for, for, for Fresh and Fit. Genuine ass nigga. All these niggas some genuine ass people, bro. We met some other people there, some six figure earners, some 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 niggas making some actual bread, bro. We was all treated as equal. And let me put put you guys on some game and shit. I've been saying this on my uh on my uh stream a little bit, but like the females in Miami, right? They had more of an ego than these niggas that have a hundred million in the fucking bank. These average and below average females are more big headed than niggas that can fucking buy our whole fucking family, bro. <laughs> like, bro, it's so crazy. Like, ev like, bro, Miami was the fucking vibe. It was sunny too. Palm trees. You guys know how I feel about palm trees. That shit is like my motivator, bro. Like, bro, I just felt so successful out there. And being only 19, a snag 18, being able to travel there on our own. It's just honestly a blessing, bro. I know niggas that haven't even left it. Ontario, bro. Some niggas ain't even left their own fucking block damn near, bro. Like, this is crazy how we did that shit. And we gonna continue to do that shit. We did spend a lot of money out there. But the money, fuck the money, bro. The experience was an experience of a lifetime. We built some connections, met some people. And I, I, I hope... And I'll work to be able to work with them in the future. I'm going to work my ass off so I can maybe become business partners with some of them in the future. Be cool with them on some real shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have their number and shit in the future. Obviously, they can't be giving up their number to just anyone and shit. You got to have value. We, we don't have much value right now. We're still building up our value. We're still young. These are like 30, 40-year-old men, by the way. And it's crazy because all the broke niggas that I've talked to told me I shouldn't have gone there. Told me that they like I'm seeing what Snag be saying when people say that rich people are bad people. Like I had I had broke family members telling me that they're gonna be doing cocaine and fucking shit on the yacht. I'm like, bro, why do you think that? They say because that's what millionaires do. No, the fuck they don't, bro. Not those millionaires at least. Those are the millionaires I want to be like. Those are the fucking niggas that wake up every day, work their fucking ass off, work out, fucking. And make money. That's all the fuck life is about, bro. And have a family. What else is there to do with life, bro? Wake up, be healthy, be financially free, and have a fucking beautiful family. That shit is fucking crazy that people really paint a negative picture on these these successful people just because for the simple fact that they will never be there. They have no reason. They don't know any millionaires, bro. Why are they sitting here telling me that millionaires are bad? That millionaires are sitting there doing cocaine on yachts in Miami and shit. Like, that's fucking stupid, bro. Like, that shit's crazy, bro. Nobody was... Some of them were barely drinking, bro. Hey, shout out Luke fucking Belmore and Nate. Because they are not capped. 
when they say they do not focus on women at all, bro, Nate was sitting there posted at the fucking entrance at the party and shit, you know what I'm saying, on the yacht, just chilling, not talking to no bitches, and no homo, he's a, he's an attractive looking man, you know what I'm saying, like, not, I don't find him attractive, but like, like, you, females will not call him ugly, and you know what I'm saying, females are trying to go up to him, and he was just like, waving him off and shit, like, nah, he's on his fucking grind, same with fucking Luke, them two niggas, I gained a different type of respect from when I seen that, bro. Like, they say that they're not focused on women. They're just focused on making money and living, you know what I'm saying, healthy and getting to the next level. And that's what the fuck they're doing, bro. As soon as the boat was about to take off, what did they do? They fucking, you know what I'm saying, they'd be like, I bet we gotta, we gotta leave, you know what I'm saying? And what did they do? Probably went to some business shit. I think they ended up in, uh, I forget where I saw in the story, bro. I think it was Denver, Colorado type shit, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas is really about their fucking bag. And... Yeah, you can fucking watch them on YouTube every single day, but when you're around them, that shit is fucking different, bro. Their energy, you can feel the fucking wealth in the fucking air, I swear to God, bro. And, like, it's crazy, because a lot of niggas treated me different, bro, before I, like, from, before I went to that party and met those people, and when I came back, I got treated a lot different, bro. People, females especially, Bro, I post a picture on the yacht, all of a sudden I'm him. Bitches that never fucking... And I'm not an ugly nigga, by the way. Like, on some real nigga shit, we know I'm not an ugly nigga, right? I'm not hideous, I'm not ugly. I'm, I say I give myself a six, bro. I've been saying that. I'm a six out of ten, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm an average looking male, maybe a bit above average. Bitches would not look my fucking way. I post a picture on the yacht, I have niggas bitches liking my pictures, niggas bitches in my fucking DMs and shit that wouldn't give me a chance literally a few weeks ago people really treat you different when they think that you you're something bro it's fucking crazy bro this is a, an amazing fucking experience because i'm seeing how one woman women treat you different men treat you different you get more respect too from men when they see you around high value men obviously women too you know what i'm saying but just being around those fucking millionaires bro i got to fucking make it I got to fucking make it. Subscribe to the fucking podcast channel. Foreign Pills going crazy this year. We about to spin back to Miami soon. We didn't get as much um connections as I wanted, but I feel like as we left, like once I got back, I had um uh like a DJ, you know what I'm saying? One of the DJs that was there, you know what I'm saying? He cool as fuck, that nigga, you know what I'm saying? We got connected with him. I had a few YouTubers and shit holla at me talking about they gonna fly out, you know what I'm saying? Or they already out there where I'm at and shit. But that was all when I came back. So I guess it was just kind of bad timing. But we would have come back in a few months. So anybody that wants to link any... don't Not no bums. I'm not linking no bums, bro. Any uh high value... um any Anybody on their way to success or already successful, honestly. Hit my DM and shit. And uh, we gonna work next time we out there. Because we didn't have a little uh, inconvenience as well, too. So we didn't really get to get as much things as we want to get done. But... Hey, that's how life goes. Sometimes shit don't go your way. What are you going to do? Cry about it or you going to fucking learn from it and move on? You know what I'm saying, bro? I, I could keep going on for at least another fucking 15, fucking 20 minutes on how fucking, how, like, how crazy it is that I was in that situation with them uh, successful, fucking crazy successful people, bro. Partying with them niggas. The niggas like DDG, bro. You guys don't understand. I've been watching DDG since middle school. Supported him throughout his music career. All this shit. And I didn't get to talk to him or anything. But there was a point where he was here. And I was fucking right here, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? That shit is fucking crazy to me. It's it's, it's, it's an awakening, too. Because it, it shows that it's possible. Niggas that... I was around niggas that have done it. At this point, I talked to them. I had conversations with them. They are real people. They're not fucking bots or fucking aliens or none of that bullshit. They're real people. There's no fucking excuse, bro. We got to get fucking rich, bro. Just thinking about that shit. Be making a nigga like, damn, bro. But, hey, I'm, I'm going to get out this bitch, bro. Just a little, I guess, Miami recap and shit, bro. I'm going to come back to this video five years from now. And I'm going to accomplish everything I fucking ever wanted to, bro. Plus more. I'm going to be around these people. They're going to be my friends. We're going to be 
in communication. We have to call them anytime. We gonna sp manifestation, but hey, look, manifestation is real, but you gotta manifest and work to it. You don't just manifest, bro. Just don't be delusional. You don't sit there and say, I want this shit. You say you want this shit, speak it into existence, put it into uh, the universe, and then work your fucking ass off to get it. I gotta go work out, though, man. I'm gonna have this bitch, no kids, bro.